Hello everyone, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we have a slightly shorter video but a lot of interesting stuff in. I personally can't wait for the stuff that's going on in this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. I put so much time into these videos and, and especially this one and it would mean a lot if you could do that. Anyway, enough of that, on to the video and I hope you enjoy. So we're going to be starting off with TCG and on the 19th of February 2021, which is coming up soon, the new holiday TCG set will be coming out and you already know the set is going to go big. Prices are going to skyrocket and they'll sell out pretty quickly. This set goes by the name Shining Fates and I'm sure you've heard of that before. This includes a shiny VMAX Charizard and potentially more Charizard so people are going to want it for that and obviously a fan favourite Marnie Fullat. These will be the ones to get cards in the set so yeah they're the ones you want to pull. Most pre-orders of this set is already sold out so if you want to get some make sure you're ready on the 19th of February when hopefully stores have stock um, to order what you want. I'm certainly going to be waiting for that because I didn't get onto the pre-order straight away. Sticking with Pokemon cards, we're probably going to see a set like Generations for Pokemon's 25th which I think will be really cool and I really like the idea of Generations when it came out for Pokemon's 20th anniversary. We also know that there will be special 25th anniversary Pokemon cards for all the starters from every generation. I don't know if this is true, there may be Jumbo, I don't know. They are £7.50 pounds um great british pounds i don't i think they're like eight dollars for for the us these are the cards where the pokemon first came into the tcg so like the original charmander would be one original bullsaw and squirtle and pikachu i think pikachu might be one i'm not really sure but anyway i can't wait for these and i think it's a cool idea also in march there is going to be i believe it's march 19th a month after shiny fates comes out there's gonna be a new set of battle styles which i think it's gonna be so epic. I don't know if he's gonna do as well. Maybe a bit of a mix between Shining Fates and Steam Siege, maybe a bit in the middle. But I like the design of the cards, I think they're pretty cool. So hopefully they're good. I'll talk about this in another video if you're interested in, in the future. So make sure you let me know in the comments. So after Battle Styles, we don't really know much sets that will come out, but there's definitely gonna be a few more sets. Some are gonna be pretty cool, and um, I can't wait to see what happens next. Anyway, um, enough for the TCG and on to the video games. Let's start off with the 100% confirmed stuff. This isn't really to do with the 25th anniversary, but anything in 2021 is really to do with Pokemon's 25th anniversary because it was 25 years ago since Pokemon's made. The game is the new Pokemon Snap, which is going to be coming out on Nintendo Switch on April 30th. It's just been announced. This game is a remake of the classic Pokemon Snap on the N64. It's going to have have insanely good graphics and um, it has more Pokemon than the original Snap and it's gonna be a lot of fun to do take pictures of Pokemon and explore them and explore habitats it's gonna be really epic I can't wait and the price of this you can even pre-order on the eShop I believe is £50 or $60 something like that if you're interested in that make sure you go and pre-order now the next game isn't 100% confirmed but I'd say it's really likely that Pokemon Unite will be released on Pokemon Day as there is no clear release date but it was being testing back when it was announced and we all know the announcement went so that means it's well developed and should be just being finished off recently there were some skins that were leaked from Pokemon Unite which look absolutely awesome hopefully at some point they'll make this game on PC or um, be able to play on PC and um, along with that leak was some gameplay and it it looks really good it looks better than it was first announced and uh, hopefully this game's good and uh, I'm just going to love when I found out I predicted Pokemon Unite wrong but I believe there will be some kind of announcement on Pokemon Day I mean come on how can they not since they hyped it up so much they have to a week ago or so uh, trust a Pokemon leaker Pokemon Centro on Twitter or Centro Pokemon on Twitter confirmed that Diamond and Pearl is coming to the Switch does that mean a virtual console game or potential remake i'm leaning towards remake back in may 2019 the movie detective pikachu was released 
and it was quite a hit with people who liked Pokemon and who didn't. Central Pokemon said that there is going to be a second Detective Pikachu coming out this year. This is going to be very epic and I certainly can't wait for it. The last Detective Pikachu had all the original 151 Pokemon on it. So does that mean we'll have all the Johto, a bit of Kanto, or will it mean all the regions will be included and just certain Pokemon will be in? What will be the main plot? Because the last one was about Mewtwo being made and stuff. So yeah, these these questions hopefully will be answered in the film when the film's announced or when it comes out. So you know, stay tuned. Sticker of the movies, the movie Secrets of the Jungle, the one with Shiny Celebi and Zerudin, which was released in Japan on Christmas Day last year, will hopefully be coming out in the United States um, sometime this year. Not sure when it's coming out everywhere else in the world, but hopefully at the same time as the United States. For those who remember 2016 Pokemon's 20th anniversary, they did quite a lot of stuff to m and made it quite a big thing to say it's only 20th. That's why I believe there'll be something even bigger and is going to catch us all off guard. Last anniversary they released lots of merchandise like special plushes that were, had a, like a shine and figurines that had a shine. I've got a Mew that's pretty cool from 20th anniversary so stay tuned for that kind of stuff and if you're the kind of person that likes to invest in Pokemon in my opinion the 25th anniversary stuff is the best because Pokemon 25th won't come around again therefore they can't reprint this stuff. Just a little bit of advice from me to you people but yeah that about concludes this short video Video. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment um, if you're excited and I'll see you in the next video peace